What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about the recent leak on Reddit where dude basically states he has inside information about the Taken King and Destiny 2. Now if you guys missed this post I will link it in the video description if I can find it but I'm going to read through all in this video here right now. Now we must take this with a pinch of salt. Nothing here has been confirmed by Bungie whatsoever but some of the points this dude make are pretty good and it don't, I don't know what it is, it does seem like some of this could be true. Some of it sounds too good to be true and you'll understand that when I read this out. Now I'm going to quote this dude right here right now and this is how he starts this post. Hello everyone, I have received some early information on the Taken King and Destiny 2. For the sake of confidentiality, I will not release the name or names of anyone that was involved in telling me this information. I can tell you for sure that I have certain connections with people that are in contact with others that are working on the release of the Taken King and other Destiny titles or through this information is second hand which I may let you believe or not it is in very trusted people that I have obtained this knowledge when it comes down to it though this is just speculation and can be changed in the future now for the information I'm quoting this dude here and this is what his state is coming with the Taken King Bungie is currently working on clans 2.0 in which you and your clan mates may be able to give each other buffs in game these possibly earned through meeting certain clan requirements Cade 6 and Savala, the Hunter and Titan Vanguard, both play big roles in the Taken King. Not sure how they will be incorporated though. Artifacts are in fact not going to be relics but something completely different. They are going to be much cooler, giving Guardians new effects and new ways to play. Although this is probably well known, Aerys Morn will be a huge part in the story of the Taken King, being the main quest giver. There will be three separate bosses in the Dreadnought Raid as seen in the trailers, the big guys that stand out. Something that sounds very exciting, the land tanks from Kabul will be seen much more throughout the quest line, hinted that they will be usable in the quests. The Kabul, even though they are being hunted and taken, they are still not going to be an ally in the main quest line. They will in fact turn to shoot at you just as they do in any other patrol or mission. The new taken abilities of Kabul, Fallen, Vex and Hive are all going to be mirrors of Supras or close to them. For example, Dregs will be able to put up bubble shields just like a Defender Titan would. They will be used to counter certain Supras of Guardians. The Dreadnought Patrol will be much larger and contain much more than normal patrols. Hiding treasures and secrets that will take months to figure out, a planet in itself but larger. Saturn will not be explorable as I really hoped it might have been a little, like ship exploration of some sort as it is a gas giant. Bungie is working on a new form of ascending in year 2 that I couldn't be told much about. He states they stated it is too complicated to explain but it will be similar to the current form of ascending that we know already. I assume from what they say it meant that they could not go deeper into detail about it at this time. It will also have a way to customise yourself to be different from other guardians, possibly shaders for guns. Now for Destiny 2, this will be a completely new game. It is titled currently Destiny 2 The Shattered Suns and is planned for release on September of 2016. You will still be using your current characters. It will focus heavily on Osiris and his endeavours as he is the main quest giver in the game. A new form of enemy is said to be in development, possibly Ahamkara. Couldn't get a straight answer from anybody on that. Mercury is also supposed to be a big player in Destiny 2, the Shattered Suns, the main area in which Guardians will explore. Bungie has also hired on Hollywood writers for their story of this game as well. A new voice for the ghost is also being implemented. Bungie apparently stated that they are not going to continue with DLCs, but instead release free raids, planets, etc. throughout time. They will only be continuing with the main games after the Taken King and its successor DLCs. Finally, a bonus. There is not going to be a trading system implemented into the game ever. Activision got sent a letter regarding what not to do on an MMORPG from Blizzard and trading was on that list. 
Also that there is no sixth chest in the Vault of Glass or has been known by a small group of people in the studio. It was just a bluff to keep us occupied for the Taken King most unlikely. Now that's basically it guys, that is what is stated about the uh, Taken King DLC and Destiny 2. Now a few things I want to pick up on here are basically some of this information does sound too good to be true. Free raids, free shit from Activision, I'm not sure about that to be honest. We all know Activision love to make their money and they're pretty good at it. So giving away free raids, that just does not make sense to me. Now the Taken enemies having uh, basically super abilities, a lot like the ones we get as Guardians. Now we did see in a trailer, which I'll put on screen now, uh, a Vandal or a Dreg using a shield. Just like the one we see the Titan Defender drop. And this sort of does comply with what this dude says in this post. And we do also know a few of the other things that do make sense. But at the end of the day, he could have got all this information from what we've seen from the trailers. And just basically manipulated it a bit and added on his own story. I mean, there's not really any super standout information right here that makes me believe what he stated is true. As much as I'd love it to be. But if this is true and this information is correct and factual, we've got some great shit to look forward to. What he states about the artifacts, not going to be relics, but something completely different. I wonder what the hard they're going to be. Other things like to make your guardian stand out, like he states he thinks they could be gun shaders. Me personally, I don't think a gun shader will make your guardian stand out that much to be honest if it's a gun shader everybody could get that gun shader so how is one guardian going to stand out from the other the dreadnought patrol will be much larger and contain uh secrets and treasures that will take months to uh, figure out bigger than a planet itself that is absolutely epic if that is true he states every small will be the main quest giver in the taken king which sort of makes sense because it is hive he also states as well that uh, Osiris will be the main quest giver in Destiny 2. Now we know nothing about Destiny 2 to be honest. I'm loving the name this guy states is Destiny 2 The Shattered Sons. Sounds pretty cool to me but obviously that could change at any moment in time. They're going to have Hollywood writers writing a story. That sounds pretty epic too. A little disappointed that Peter Dinklage won't voice the ghost as this guy states they're trying to get somebody new. I mean, there's a lot of information right here in this post. And like I said, if you guys want to read through all and make your own mind up on it, I will link it in the video description. I mean, it, it seems pretty legit, but at the end of the day, it's the way this guy words it that makes me feel a little bit iffy about how he's been told all this information. And he's got a lot of information right here, but yet he's still dropping his own ideas into it, like possible shaders for guns and, and in Destiny 2, a new enemy being Ahamkara and stuff like that. But like I said, a lot of this information can be taken from the trailers that we have seen with the Taken King and just advanced a little. But there's nothing here, in my opinion, that makes me believe that this is 100% legit. What it could be is something that Bungie have done on purpose to get us all excited and hyped up on the Taken King and Destiny 2, as that would really make sense in terms of getting everybody who's fell bored of Destiny back into the game and excited for new shit. But we're just going to have to wait and see. If any more information drops about Destiny 2 or the Taken King DLC, you'll be sure to find it here on my channel. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me at dpjsc08. My Twitter is linked in that video description. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your opinion on this post. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And peace out until next time. Peace.